Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Alejandro. Hello, how are you? Fine, fine, thank you. It's been a good day, let's say it's been a good day. It's been a good day. Okay, well, I was checking on the platform. You are almost finished, right? Yeah, and I had a question in a, in a, in an exercise. I well, I think that this week we're we're gonna see this part, but it was about gerunds. Oh yeah. And I don't. In exercise don't four point four point one, I don't know why it doesn't. It it shows me bad answer. I don't know why. I I read the manual. Point one. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Number one is providing. Yeah. Providing, providing praise to to employees, but I don't know why it it's bad. This is the the answer according to the system. Uh, I just got a. <laughs> I was writing the whole sentence. That's why. No, my friend. No. No, you just need look at the instruction. The instruction says complete the sentences with gerunds. gerunds. Type yes. the verb. Just the verb. Yeah, just the verb. Right. You are doing the whole the whole sentence. The whole sentence, yes. Oh my. Well, there you go. It's easy, <laughs> you see. I I I even asked Anna Claudia. I asked for help. But I haven't done that yet. <laughs> yeah, but it's quite simple. If you can see it's, it's no big deal. Yeah, thank you, teacher. No problem, no problem. You know, that happens. I mean, it's normal that it can happen. <laughs> uh, that was yeah got 20 from 20 points thank you teacher no problem no problem so tell me how's everything uh, things are fine it was today is the last day of the month so uh, it was a busy day I just sent working like four minutes ago. And I I haven't noticed that it was uh, eight o'clock. Oh, really? Uh -huh. But uh, I, I believe that, that your message uh, uh, reminded you. Reminded me from the classes. Yeah, now that. That happens. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to do, and sometimes we don't have enough time to to do all the activities. And yeah. the job is demanding. You know, companies are like that, demanding every time they demand more and more and more, and and you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Yeah, but not. It's not like every day you gotta gonna stay late it's just on, yeah. just in a specific days of the of the month i think that that's acceptable well that's cool i mean once in a while as you said it's okay it's acceptable right but when it becomes like every single day, it's like uh, too demanding. Yeah, it you should not uh, be working like until late every single day. It's not healthy. Yeah, of course it's not. Of 
course it's not uh, you know sometimes uh, sometimes we have to and uh, of course uh, it also depends on on, on your situation, your schedule, the schedule you have set, like uh, uh, like you see in my case, I have to, I do have to, because that's my schedule to to finish pretty late. But that's normal. I mean, I get used to it. Oh, okay, okay, but you do exercise like. Yeah. That that keeps you healthy. Yeah, of course. Of course it does. I mean, exercising and and you know, trying to relax with different on, on a different way. Like for me, relaxing is uh, reading a good book. Uh, Sometimes watching a movie if I have time or or a series or just talking with the family. I mean, little stuff, little things that that help to get rid of stress. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, it is. Well, Alejandro, I'm so glad that we could solve that big problem you had with the, <laughs> with the activity. It was uh, quite stressing for like 15 stressful. minutes stressful. stressful stressful yeah i i really struggle and, <laughs> and i was I, I don't get it like i try like different times and i don't know this platform doesn't work i said <laughs> but it was me yeah but the good thing is that we could solve it and as you can see it's quite easy Pretty yeah, it's stuff. pretty pretty easy. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, no problem. No problem. No worry. That's normal. I mean, that happens. Okay, guys. Let's see. Okay. Perfect. I was just checking my lesson plan for tonight, and for tonight we got well, we got us. A conversation we got a couple of questions from me then we got the conversation then we have the um what do you call it the, the grammar explanation quite short i make it simple because if not gerunds can become complicated but actually they are quite pretty pretty simple and we are not going to analyze the whole scope of what gerunds are so it's gonna be easy easy let's see who else is around Mm -hmm. Ada, hello Ada, how are you? Hello teacher, Hi. Uh, more or less teacher. Okay. A lot of work, uh, persist the problem in the platform. Ada, I don't use the cell phone. No teacher, no use the cell phone. Only computer, computer. Ya, ya desinstaló la aplicación. Yes, teacher. Hoy hablé con Catherine, le expliqué todo eso. Eh, desde anoche yo me quedé trabajando en la computadora de mi casa. Eh, ya le pedí a ellos que me manden el link a, la, a mi correo directo porque yo lo, lo reenvié de mi WhatsApp. Hasta Ana Claudia me mandó también, y igual es el problema. Yo trabajo en la unidad. Hoy les estuve, eh, porque me estuvieron eh, escribiendo y hablando, les estuve mandando la captura de cada tarea hecha, enviada, y aparecen todas, aparecen todas hechas, y al ver el, el, el progreso, aparece primero que sube al 20 o al 40, y... Al regresar a trabajar la otra unidad, la, el progreso siguiente aparece a cero. Entonces todo eso le explicaba yo a ellos, porque también me, me mandó un mensaje Luis Bonilla, pero realmente con él no me he querido comunicar porque el módulo pasado fue algo pesadito conmigo y he evitado hablar con él, porque pasó lo mismo el módulo pasado. Entonces ellos 
lo que me dicen es que yo contesto mal todo y que yo estoy haciendo todo mal. Entonces, por eso les mando las capturas de lo que he ido progresivamente haciendo y, el, y he estado tratando de, de ver cómo se puede mejorar eso. Les he estado diciendo desde el die, como el 16 de mayo, o sea, no es de ahorita el problema. Y ha persistido, okay. ¿verdad? Okay. This is in the chat. Uh, I posted to you the, the address we use, the direct address. Yes, 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 teacher. That's yes. the one you're Pero, using. Yes, yes. Y como le digo yo a ellos, porque me dicen, Ay, entre ya. A veces yo estoy en el hospital, no puedo entrar, pues difícilmente. Trabajo en un área de radiación en donde yeah. difícilmente entra la llamada. The thing is this. Uh, uh, uh. Entonces, no, it me... needs to be done with a computer. Needs to be done with a computer. And Entonces, when do you have a, an available schedule? Yes. Entonces, han quedado de ver si me resuelven mañana porque eh, traté de, de mandar toda la unidad 1 completa y la termino. Le mando las capturas de cada tarea donde aparece el chequecito verde y aparece el 20 y 20% ahí. Y al ver el progreso aparece el 0%. Entonces, yes, no es. Yes, but the thing is this: that uh, I need to know when, when do you have time like, to be sitting on a computer so we can like, coordinate to do it at the same time. Okay. And we will talk. We will talk tonight after class. Okay. We will solve it. Don't worry. We will okay. solve it. It's okay. just that. We need to coordinate and and we will see. I'll talk with the with the boss. Okay. Okay. Thank to you. See if, don't worry, don't worry. And, and the thing is that I guess the problem has been communication, but I'm on it and we are going to solve it for you. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's see. And Jose Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. So far, so good, teacher. Okay, great, great. Just tell me, how was your day? Oh, nice, teacher, because today is my Monday. <laughs> today is your what? It's my Monday. How so? <laughs> yeah, I only have to work, uh, well, only four days this week. Oh, really? Yeah, that's right. So that's really good. Really, really good. Because, you know, I rest yesterday uh, because uh, at the United States, they are on. Um, on weekend? No, they had a long weekend, yeah. Oh, really? Well, yeah, it's mm -hmm. good that you were able to rest. Yeah, that's right. Was well, really good. But uh, uh, first day of the of the week, it's a little hard, right? Oh, uh, yes, but yeah, well, you know, we have to, to present data for the three days because uh, some line of business work on, on weekend. So we present data from Saturday, uh, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, but nothing. It's yeah, a lot nothing. Of yeah, but. When you know uh, what you have to do, that's uh, too easy. I also like to hear it. It's not yeah, that's right. It's not so much of a boredom. Yeah, that's right. So today was a, a relaxing day. Just I have to prepare some some information, but for the rest, everything good. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, that's right. That's nice, that's nice. Now let's see, let me just check out something. Thank you very much for the present, welcome. Okay, thank you, teacher.
Okay, let's see. Thank you very much. So we well, nice talking to you. Anna Claudia. Hello. How are Thank you? you. Hi teacher. Good evening. I'm doing well here. Um trying to organize things still at home, still testing the the roof repair. <laughs> but yeah, everything it seems now is going to work just is missing uh, uh, to paint with a cover. The, uh, the, the roof is a special cover to avoid uh, humidity. Um, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because there are some, still some like, I, I don't know if it's correct to use this verb, water filtering. Leaks. Leaks, oh yeah, you always forget, I'm sorry. But they are not leaks. They are like um, the roof shows like what? But the Maybe. water is not. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah, retains the, the water. Still is leaks. Ah, okay, okay. So there are still some leaks. So there are some special uh, uh, products or paints. Yeah. yeah. They are that, paints. Aha, uh -huh, that cover this type of situation. And we tried today just one part of the, the roof and it worked. So tomorrow, oh, cool. the, the guy who's working is he will complete uh, all the roof. And also, he changes some physical outlets, some, uh, yeah, some outlet. They, there were. Two of them that, my God, <laughs> it was um, before, like at the beginning of the year, we were able to repair the, the issue, the, the wall were wet also. And, and we realized today, switching the, those outlets, that what, there was water still there. Thank God nothing happens, but we didn't know. Uh, now that we are making all this process of repairing things, we are realizing that we were so close to have an accident with the electricity, with the power. But now they are all changing. Well, let's hope those products work. Oh yes, they are they are good products. The, the, the outlets, the new outlets, yes, they are good products. Yeah, it's I mean you gotta be careful when it comes yeah. to water, electricity, you gotta be <laughs> yes. careful. Yes, of course. So, but I hope crossing fingers tomorrow will be the last day of all these type of repairs. And all this process. everything turns out okay for you and your house. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, well, give me just a second, guys. Please, okay. please. please.
Okay, guys, so little issue here, but I'm back. Let's see. Danny, hello, Danny, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, well. Danny. I'm <laughs> so sorry, I'm so sorry. I need to make a pause because I need to take the attendance before I forget. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. I will continue with you in a second. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Present teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancilla. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Pero si ya lo tiene. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Morano de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Okay, well, Danny. Hello, I'm sorry, Danny. How's everything? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm here. I just had my dinner. I don't know if I is correct. I just had my dinner. Or oh, really? Just... You just had dinner? That's cool. Okay. So you are relaxed uh, and ready. Yeah. <laughs> and the relax comes to me and there is a little sleepy. <laughs> but um but no, um just relaxing and I had a day um very calm and with and with three meetings and some emails and something like that uh a normal day in the office <laughs> um just that just that okay, well. yeah um, nice. i don't have um Today I didn't have the um, <laughs> well, how can I say the um, voluntad se me olvida <laughs> the will the will the will to go to the gym <laughs> so I failed today to a fit person. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, not every day we feel like that. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, you can take a day off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, I hope that in the coming days I I get back. <laughs> yeah, but as I tell you, you can take a day off. And, and yeah. I mean, it's not going to be like a big problem. It's not going to affect you a lot. Yeah. Okay, but just that teacher. Okay, well, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Uh, Heidi, hello, Heidi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm still working. Oh my gosh. Sorry for interrupting. 
<laughs> you know, today is my day. Today is the day. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, we will talk later, okay? Okay, Relax. teacher. Thank you. Don't worry. No, thanks to you. Thanks to you for making the effort. I know it's hard. It's hard. Let's see, Marcos. Hello, how are you, Marcos? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Um, I'm fine. It was a relaxed day, too. Um, I have a little meeting with my boss about um, a problem that we have. And yeah, that's all I, I've been working on. So, with that, and um, I finished my shift at like 5 20 p.m. It was a little bit early. Um, what else? Um, I've been I've been enjoying the the weather because um, you know working from home sometimes and at some point of the day the heat is really annoying. So this cold weather is is a it's a good environment for me. Yeah, yeah, me too. To be honest with you. I I like it better when it's like cold. Yeah, um and some days um uh, before yeah some days before um we decide to to fix the roof because Ooh. we yeah we haven't changed it like since we arrived to this house so it was 20 20 years ago <laughs> No, oh, really. Um, it was necessary to fix it up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we fix it up, fix it up um, on time because this day uh, it's raining a lot. So yeah, change the the, the it's roof been in the, a lot. Uh, Yeah, change the roof in this condition. I think it's it's risky. Um, oh yeah, a lot. We. Yeah, yeah, and if we do so, um, we we have been experienced the the problem with with the roof with the gotera. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the the problem. So yeah, on time we decide to to fix the the roof. I, I feel happy for that because now that it's raining, I feel comfortable and I feel secure that I do not have problems with. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't have that worry on yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a, a hard problem because the, the water and filter in in my my room and when I when the roof was not so was not fixed. So in, in, in my in my bedroom I have some my computer and another electronic devices that yeah. in the water they can put down. So I feel happy for that feature. <laughs> and uh, another thing that I have to do is work in platform, true, because this is the, the last week. Yep. Okay, okay. Teacher. We need to finish. I have, we need to finish it this week. It must be this week. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Welcome. Um, okay, time? teacher, thanks. Oh. Well, guys, let's continue. Now, let's see, we got these two questions. And this is the manual, remember, and we are in unit four. And management and motivation, that's the name of this unit. Now, 
The first exercise is, how do you motivate employees to engage in value adding activities that benefit the organization? First question, do you think employees are more motivated by receiving a higher salary with fewer benefits or a lower salary with more benefits? What do you think? Okay, we are going to discuss these two questions. You will have five minutes to discuss them. And working in the breakout rooms. Let me check. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. going to be active. Hmm? Okay. I'm sorry, you said? Mm -hmm. And I'm looking for the... The picture. Just send the picture. Okay, the question. How do you motivate employees to engage in value? in value adding activities that benefit the organization? Do you think employees are more motivated by receiving a higher salary with fewer benefits or a lower salary with more benefits? Judith, you are in the HR office. <laughs> Maybe you have a better insight. I think um, um, the employees are more motivated by higher salary in my in my in myself mm -hmm. i would like to to earn more money is motivated for me mm -hmm. and the employees of the company you work for do you do you think they will be adding uh, they they will uh, they would like to have higher salary too or uh, having additional benefits like work less hour or stuff like that. I prefer, I think they prefer mm -hmm. a, high, a higher salary in my own opinion mm -hmm. about myself. I would like to have a higher salary than the other benefits. Okay. But, and what happens if you have a higher salary and lower benefits? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter for you. It doesn't matter. It, it, it knows for me low benefits or the low benefits is necessary. The, the ones for low. Well, in, in my case, sometimes we've been uh, discussing this with, uh, with my uh, colleagues because uh, in, as a call center, we work on holidays and sometimes we want to spend time with the family because those are the only days they are free or <laughs> they do not work. Mm, we, mm -hmm, we could use to work on those days but when we talk and we discuss between us, I think, and I, I 
my perception is that all of us, the majority, will prefer to have a same sa a, the salary, the same salary, but with additional benefits like a free time to enjoy with their relatives. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and sometimes the situation happens that someone says, okay, if you don't come, you won't be paid. They say, okay, it's okay. I don't care. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's better for the... the um, they are... Um, um, not only a number that they are very important for the company and that uh, they know all the processes of the company and maybe um, they can provide some solutions uh, to make the process more efficiency and efficient. stuff like that. Or maybe give um, a kind of gift uh, for the ideas uh, that people can say to improve some process of the company. I don't know why to think uh, Francisco or uh, okay. Sounds good. There are uh, uh, good ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, the company uh, can uh, is how do you say? Um, conquest. Conquest is a uh, concurso, right, teacher? Mm -hmm. Contest. Conquest. Okay. Contest. Uh, for example, contest. Ah, sorry. <laughs> contest. Uh, make a contest um, for. Uh, create an idea to the improve uh, uh, one process, for example, and the idea winner uh, uh, that uh, will be, how do you say, premier teacher? Rewarder. Rewarder. Okay. And the winner idea uh, that uh, uh, reward them. Yeah. And the yeah. other uh, other idea, uh, for example, um, uh, when the company uh, is. Uh, uh, Grow tissue, creciendo. Growing. Growing. When the company I'm sorry is. To interrupt. I'm sorry to interrupt. Ada, I need you to stay after the class. Please don't leave. When the class finishes, you stay a few minutes, okay? Okay, teacher. Sorry. Okay, teacher, no problem. Uh, well, uh, continue. Uh, when You finished, guys? Oh, yes. Perfect. Because it's time to go back.
Suleyma, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How's everything? Um, everything is okay. Nice. Um, and I feel a little tired because today was a really busy day, but I'm happy because um, this week is not an usual week because uh, today, tomorrow will be my last work day for this week. Oh, really? Yep. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, of course it is. Wow. It's going to be your last work day in this week. Man, that's yep. nice. How many days off? Uh, today is off. Okay, cool. Excellent. Yeah. So, oh, I'm preparing uh, because I have to give a training tomorrow and I'm preparing all the stuff to uh, uh, that, that I will need tomorrow in the training. But it's my yes. last day, so uh, everything is okay. That's cool, that's cool, thank you. Okay, guys, let's see, Jose Wilfredo. More salary, less benefits. More benefits, less salary. Uh, to be honest, teacher, I guess that to, to, man, to yeah, I guess the, to maintain happy at the employee, uh, you need to balance because if your employee maybe has a, a good salary but doesn't have a good uh, benefits, so the employee will look for other employee that maybe <laughs> that maybe um, balance better unit uh, yeah balance the 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 both. Uh, alternatives that the salary and benefits okay well interesting point of view thank you very much you're welcome okay guys now we go back to the manual okay read this segment of, from an interview about employee motivation okay look what do you think is the best way to motivate an employee creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. Look, that's interesting, right? How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but our main motto is having no rules, then employees will feel free to innovate and propose changes. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? Overtime is not allowed. Wearing a uniform is not a required thing in our company. And the whole company goes on a paid overseas vacation every five years. I repeat. What do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but our main motto is having no rules. Then 
employees will feel free to innovate and propose changes. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? Overtime is not allowed. Wearing a uniform is not a required thing in our company. And the whole company goes on a paid overseas vacation every five years. Okay, well, I want a job in that company. What is the meaning of motto? Motto? Lemma? Yeah, motto. Lemma? Lemma. Nuestro mm. lemma. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, today you're going to do the practicing, but in groups, okay? Not just in pairs, in groups. Do you remember? We need to help each other with the pronunciation, but I'm going to switch some of the members of the groups. Let me check. How the group's gonna be? Okay. Groups are open, please. Let's do it. Hi, Flo. I'm going to the groups. Um, I have the manual and I have to read. I guess you will go to the conversation, mm -hmm. guys. Yeah. You've got it. Thanks. No problem, no problem. Let me open. So, if you want, that means so we can start. I can. Um, everybody have the the menu or image. So yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, what do you think is the best way to motivate to motivate an employee? Uh, creating a, a workplace where the employees is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Uh, motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but our main motto is moving no rule, rules then employees will feel free it's to having, innovate. <laughs> um, it's having the rules. <laughs> not having rules, yeah. And then employees will know, will feel free to innov innovate and propose changes. Well, what are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motiva motivated? Uh, overtime is not allowed, wearing a uniform is not Creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos. The main motto is having no rules. Then employees will feel free to innovate and propose changes. What are some of benefits that you use to keep your work works workers motivated? Mm, overtime is not allowed. Wearing a uniform is not a required thing in our company. And the whole company goes on a pay overseas vacation every five years. So if you prefer uh, now, you start and Ramon continue. Okay, okay. 
Uh, what do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Come on, are you there? Come on. Yes. No. No, no creo que no. Well, uh, cre creating a workplace where there are some rules to prevent chaos, but a main motto is having no rules. The employees will feel free to innovate and propose change. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? Overtime is not allowed. Wearing an uniform is not required being in our company. And the whole company calls on pays overseas vacation every five years. Okay. Okay, I start again. 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 Okay. What do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Okay, creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. What do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. Hey, Liana, let me know whenever you're ready to participate, okay? Ready, teacher? Just, I was connected from my cell phone. Could you please send me to the group again? No, everybody's coming back. No worries. Oh, okay, thank you. So, you can participate now? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see who's going to be first. Marcos and Ileana. Marcos, you start. Okay. Hey, teacher, just give me a second. Um, I'm looking for the screenshot. Do you want me to project for you? Well, please. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, what do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but our main motto is having no rules. Then employees will feel free to innovate and propose changes. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? Overtime is not allowed. Wearing a uniform, it's not a required thing in our company and the whole company goes on a paid overseas vacation every five years. Okay, perfect, thank you. Ada, Alejandro Alfredo, you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay, Alejandro, you start. What do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Motivating employees 
It's difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but a main model is having no rules. The employee will feel free to innovate and propose change. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? Overtime is not a lot. Wearing a uniform is not required. Thing is in all company and the whole company go on a pay over service vacation every five years. Okay, thank you very much. Well done. How that suggestions. 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 Okay. Uniform. Uniform. Overseas. 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 Perfect. Thank you. Okay. And then Claudia. Yes, teacher. You and Danny. Okay, who starts? Uh, Danny, you start. Okay. What do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but our main motto is having no rules. Then employees will feel free to innovate and propose changes. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? Overtime is not allowed. Wearing a uniform is not a required thing in our company. And the whole company goes on a paid overseas vacation every five years. Perfect. Thank you, both of you. Well done. Fernando and Francisco. Yes, sir. Yes, teacher. Let's see. Okay, teacher, and, start, teacher. Fernando, you start. Okay. Uh, what do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Um, creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we are both rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but our main moral is having no rules. Then employees will feel free to innovate and propose change. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? Over time, so Wearing a uniform is not a required thing in our company. And the whole company goes on a pay overseas vacation every five years. Okay, uniform, Francisco, uniform. Uniform, okay, teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Irene and Jose Smin. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, Jose Smin, you start. Okay, so let me check it in. Okay, so what do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but only main motto is having no rules, then employees will feel free to innovate and propose change. Uh, okay. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? Mm, overtime is not allowed. Wearing a uniform is not a required thing 
in our company. And the whole company goes on a pay overseas vacation every five years. Okay, uniform, uniform, Irene. Uniform. Thank you. Okay. Jose Wilfredo and Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, you ready? Okay. Okay, Juan Carlos, you start. Yes, uh, what do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Creating a workplace where the employee is free to make a suggestion. How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult. If they believe they will make a mistake, so we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but our main motto is having no rules. Then employees will feel free to in, inno, innovate and a purpose change. What Changes. are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? Overtime is not alone. Wearing a uniform is not a required thing in our company. And the whole company was on a pay on a pay overseas vacation every five years. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. Let's see. Uh, Marcos and Maria Alejandra. Okay. Okay. Uh, Maria Alejandra, you start. Okay. What do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but our main motto is having no rules. Then employees will be free to innovate and propose change. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your worker motivated? Overtime is not allowed. Wearing a uniform is not a required thing in our company. And the whole company goes on a pay overseas vacation every five years. Perfect, thank you. Ramon, you ready? Well, Roxana and Suleyma. Okay. Suleyma, you start. Oh. <laughs> okay. What do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Creating a workplace where the employees is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but our main motto is having no rules. Then employees will feel free to innovate and propose changes. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? Overtime is not allowed. Wearing a uniform is not required thing in our company, and the whole company goes on a paid overseas vacation every five years. Perfect. Just perfect. Okay, guys, pair work. Discuss the following questions with a classmate. Do you think external incentives, money, and extra benefits are better to keep employees motivated? What is your opinion about the following? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. And what do you think about the methodology implemented by the manager in the conversation? Okay, guys, that's what you are going to discuss and answer. But before we do that, we need to take the attendance.
Thank you, Danny. Okay, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Present teacher. Uh, Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. And Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hermanas. Present. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Let's go to the groups. Sure, you forget me. Hmm. What do I do with you, maybe? What do I do with uh -huh. you? Or we can discuss the questions, no problem. <laughs> no, no, I'm sending you to a group right now. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. There you go. But in money, money, I think um, the people receive in, uh, I don't know, in, in, in happy, I don't know. If you don't count with uh, that money, uh, I guess that people are happy with that now. Yes, uh, as I told you before, uh, I think having a good, a higher salary is better than having some benefits that sometimes are not that useful for the employee. So, yeah, the, that motivates the employee having an external money, like a bonus or extra pay. Such a VP is when they receive a uh, salary and then they receive a uh, extra bonus for the key KPIs. La medición de los KPIs, ellos reciben bonus. Well, the next is, what is your opinion about the following? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they, they, they believe, sorry, they will make a mistake. To be honest, all the people 
maybe have a, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, como un delirio de persecución. So what? we always, delirio de persecución. People always try to uh, find the negative in all things. For you, for a life, for activities in general. To be honest, it's, it's really weird to find the people that they will to positive. Maybe that's the reason why uh, the conversation say something like that. The motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. Because if you are working, maybe you you are doing always the best, but always you have a error in in your work for I don't know for a leader or something like that. But we are not perfect. We always think that we we can make a mistake. Wow, I'm quite perfect. Yeah. No, you are not perfect. <laughs> oh, you are such a person. <laughs> Maybe you are a positive person, uh, but perfect. you are not perfect. And, and do you think that these kind of benefits are important for the employees or not? Sorry? Do you think that these kind of benefits, hmm? a lot of benefits are important and uh, is important for to be motivated our employees, the employees or not? Oh yeah, I very agree with that because you know, sometimes for some employees not, okay, well, to all the, for all the employees, money is, is very important. You know, we have to pay bills and stuff, stuff. But um, sometimes uh, the incentives, the incentives, um, um, uh, they, I don't know how to say it. Van más allá. Van más allá for the for the basic incentives. Mm -hmm. You know, and maybe. It depends. Uh, that's what I think that that the the companies need to 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 analyze and create good plans for for motivate the, their their employees. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, I agree with you. This plan is necessary. It, to, it is necessary to be according to the kind of employees because if your employees are millennials, is uh, there there have different uh, reason that I that they can feel motivated mm -hmm. than the other um, employees who are older employees. It's different. A strategy is good every for every employee, for every kind of them. Yep, I agree with you. And what do you think, Jose, Danny? Okay, so for me it's always nice, extra benefit. So her making feel happy. <laughs> and what kind of benefit uh, do do you want to have in some company? Uh, what, what kind? Sure. So I think that that the benefits that are really nice because and um, I got that experience on my previous job that was uh, a gift card, Just so that yeah. they can provide you gift cards, yeah, every month, so you can earn those kind of gift cards. So you feel better, right? Because you don't have to spend more money. So you can use those gift cards in order to buy something. 
Yes. My, my, my job doesn't require my physical presence on the office. Uh, but, but the company is... Um, the boss does. Yeah, the, the company. My boss uh, understands the situation, but yeah. they, can, they can do nothing. Oh. Oh, oh, but he, he can do nothing. I but see. I don't know. I don't understand the, the, the direction of the company. Well, let's hope that in some point now that the construction of the new highway will start, maybe they can have like a different understanding and they allow you to continue working from home. That would be the best way. Yeah. Yes. And, and I don't know, uh, I, I was more effective. Oh. more effective from home because I I don't no, I no perdía el tiempo, teacher. Mm -hmm. I didn't waste no time. I didn't waste yeah, I didn't waste no time in in the traffic. I understand. I lost mm. about I'm sorry, I'm sorry to, to, to stop you. I, I didn't waste time if they grammarly correct. But uh we usually say I didn't waste no time. Okay. Grammarly waste correct no time. Is, yeah, time. grammarly is I didn't waste time. But colloquially we usually say I didn't waste no time. No time. No time. Uh -huh. oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I lost about five hours a day. Yes. Per mm. day in the traffic. Mm -hmm. Uh, but what what can we do <laughs> my god yes to make me remind my old days commuting to my god well um, i hope the situation change but i know Dejé hablando solo a Marcos. ¿Por qué eres así, teacher? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> sí. You told me I don't want to work with Marcos. No. Remember you texted me. <laughs> Marcos was yeah, like yeah, very yeah, excited yeah. talking uh -huh. and you. Know, <laughs> And you are perfect, right? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> you know, I used to have problems because I was thinking that I was almost perfect. And then I came to realize that I'm perfect, so I don't have no problems at all. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I got a couple of questions. Well, let's talk a little bit. And now, now, now. Hmm. Hmm. Who is it going to be? Irene. Hello. Tell me, Irene, do you think external incentives like money and extra benefits are better to keep employees motivated? I think, teacher, that is an excellent way, but um, not are an only things that keep employees motivated. I think that an excellent environment for work is a, an excellent way to have a, an employee motivator because we need to go to work and we need to feel well, right? And I think it's a lot of things that I can a lot of things that I work 
excellent. Uh, money, extra benefits, and, and environment, and salary, right? But it's an, a good way, I think. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see. Who else? Uh -huh. Eliana. Hello, teacher. What is your opinion about the phrase motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake? Mm. I think that in that in well in this case uh, this thing about uh, the self confidence of the employees it depends on the culture of the company. I remember that company when culture. I was at the university uh, we discussed in a company culture. Thank you. I remember that this word or concept that is empowerment. So when you have employees that have self-confidence and feel empowered and they can feel that they can make they can make their opinions and suggestions and the and the managers or or, or i don't know the the boss of that person uh, if, if the employee feels that 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 superior person really hear uh, their opinions they feel self-confidence so uh, the employee maybe uh, feel that oh okay maybe I I yes I'm a person I I can make mistakes but if the company coach works in this uh, um, empowerment empowerment I think that that maybe uh, the motivation could change. Okay, well, quite interesting. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys, now let's move on. We'll go back to the manual. Remember, in the Insafor manual, we are working in page number 34. How to use Jerome's forms of subjects. Okay, guys, now. I will come to explain gerunds, not tonight, like complete, because gerunds is a pretty big topic. We are going to work right now just gerunds as subjects. A gerund take the ing syllable at the end of the base form. A gerund functions in the same way as a noun, and as such, they can be used in place of the subject in a sentence. So the verb is communicate. Communicating with employees is necessary to know their needs. In this case, the subject is the full phrase communicating with employees. This is the subject of the sentence. Is is the main verb. So the verb became part of the noun, okay, of the subject. Look at the second one. Recognizing progress is an important factor in motivating others. Encouraging subordinates to be successful is essential for the growth of the company. Look at this case. The subject of this sentence is encouraging subordinates to be successful. That's the whole subject. So remember, in this case, when we place a verb at the very beginning of the sentence, this verb mandatory needs the ing form and it's not working as a verb, it's part of the noun. The exercise in this case is quite simple. You have to complete the sentences with germs, then compare your answers with a classmate. Discuss if you agree or disagree with the motivational factors the sentences describe. Okay, two things. We need to place the verb in the gerund form and then you need to discuss if you agree or disagree, but there are too many. 
So we are going to do something. Teacher, I have a question. Yep. Um, it's when, an uh, example is when we say uh, having dinner. Yeah, that's the subject. Okay. Having dinner, okay. having dinner on time is good for your health. Okay, having dinner is the old subject. Well, in this case, when I said having dinner on time, that's the subject. Okay. Is okay. that's the verb. Oh, okay, okay. You Thanks. know, and yes. answering your questions right now when I have the explanation here, answering your question right now when I have the explanation here works better for me. In this case, the subject was very long. Did you hear it? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's something that is called compound subjects okay okay thank you thank you very much thanks to you for asking it's always cool now Oh, I told you that we were going to do the exercise a little bit different. Why? Because uh, you need to put the gerund and discuss if you agree or disagree and why. Okay, we have no groups, but we are going to make less groups. Okay. Let's see. Okay, group number one is Ada, Danny, and Maria Alejandra. You got the sentence number one. That's the only one that you're going to discuss. Okay, you're going to do the full exercise, the, the placing in gerunds, the verb, but you're going to discuss just, question, just sentence number one. Jose Osmin, Juan Carlos, and Roxana, you got the number two. Ileana and Ramon, you got number three. Alejandro, Irene, and Suleyma, you got number four. Heidi, Luis, and Marcos, you got number five. Beatriz, Fernando, and Francisco, you got number six. Okay? So, jump into the groups. I'm going to send you. The, the, the image.
Hello, teacher. Hello, guys. Finish? Yeah, we were. Yeah, we we just finished. Perfect. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Points of view. Now let me just get everything uploaded. Okay. Uh, Maria Alejandra. Thank you. Please read the sentence and tell me what did you discuss with your classmates? Uh, getting a paid vacation is a great motivation, motivational factor for employees who work hard. And Danny and Ada with me say that is a good idea because not all the companies do provide or the opportunity that pay your vacation at 100%, only a little per a person that, uh, and uh, I think that is not uh, sufficient enough. <laughs> enough to prepare a good vacation, but the company pay is different. <laughs> okay, perfect, thank you. Thank Number you. two, let's see. Mm. Juan Carlos, tell me, what did you discuss with your classmates? Read the sentence and tell me, what did you discuss? Okay, Well, the sentence goes like that. Uh, providing praise to employees when they have a completion, a task successfully reinforces the, the, their good performance. Accomplished. Accomplished. Okay, thank you. Accomplished. Well, we was discuss about the verb. If we were use get, uh, sorry, provide to, to provide or providing. But uh, about the sentence, uh, to be honest, I think uh, that when the boss, for example, um, have the cool action, to accomplish some employees, maybe they will create a comfortable environment in their department. Because uh, usually uh, in um, meetings, for example, they show or they share some mistakes. But uh, to be honest, I think that is important to create a 
good relationship between work and um, different, uh, I don't know, places or uh, when you are talking about different levels in your company, you need to create a good environment and that is the way to, to work on that if you are um, a boss, for example. Okay, interesting point of view. Thank you. Okay. Let's see, Ileana, tell me, you got number three. Yes, uh, facilitating the essential tools employees need to perform their duties is crucial to keep them satisfied with, with their job. We were discussing with Ramon and we both are agree with this sentence uh, because uh, well, we were discussing about, for example, a person that works as seller and this person needs, okay, but first of all, uh, we, we were discussing too that the tools uh, not always can be a, like a physical tools. It will be a, another type of, I don't know, tools, maybe knowledge or information and Came, in, came back to the, for the, to the example, for example, sorry, a, a person who works as a seller, they need to know about the product or service they want to sell. So if they doesn't have the enough information, they don't. Uh, if they don't, sorry, uh, have the enough information or knowledge about the product of this or service they want to sell, um, maybe for them to be a little more difficult to convince the client or maybe close the the um, la venta the sell no yeah, or close their sell so for yeah we are agreed with the sentence okay number four thank you very much interesting Number four, let's see. Uh, Suleyma, your turn. Establishing clear communication channel is essential for employees to express suggestions and timely, timely information. Uh, that is a really good point and is really important clear communication in the, in the workplace because um, avoid uh, misunderstanding between uh, maybe employees, departments, or maybe uh, avoid uh, when you uh, repros reprocesses uh, in your work area and that um, clear communication give a really good um, environment and confident to the employees to express uh, ideas or suggestions to improve uh, any area or maybe uh, suggest some changes that maybe will be important to the company. Okay. Interesting, thank you. Let's see, next uh, I got uh, Marcos. Hello, okay. Um... Respecting the opinion of other it is important to keep communication open. Okay. Um, yeah, we are agreed because it's important. Uh, the employer should feel free to give their opinion when they are asked or when they want to share it. Um, not always feel like the boss is always right and they have to share uh, their opinion with the boss. They should feel free to give 
their their opinion of whether it was. So to keep the communication open for us, I think is is important. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. Okay. Next one, Fernando. Promoting healthy relationship with your teammates is an important factor to keep motivation up. Uh, in my groups, I totally agree with that because it's imperative uh, a healthy relationship for war, for excellent work environment and especially for motivation because, because is, if exists an unhealthy relationship, the employees uh, don't feel motivation to reach the goals or for to get the extra mile and so on. Okay, thank you. Now let's see, we are going to have conversation. Thank you very much, guys. Quite interesting. We really did discuss. Heidi, hello, Heidi. Hello, teacher. Okay, Heidi. From your point of view, what is the stress? From my point of view? Yep. Um, uh, is, is the stress is caused when you have more, more assignments than when, what you are able to do, for example? Okay. Thank you. Ada. Ada, hello. Hello. Tell me, Ada, what causes stress? Stress. It's stress. Yeah, what, what is the cause of stress? Mm. Yeah. Okay, I, I will rephrase it. How do you recognize stress in your life? <laughs> it's a short time. It's the lot of the a lot of work. And you have it's a, a, it's, you... it's a, fa a factor extremes. Extremes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Jose Wilfredo. Jose Wilfredo, hello. Okay, let's see. Oh, there he is. And he's gone again. I guess that you're having problems with the connection, my friend. Don't worry, don't worry. Because we are on and off, on and off, on and off. Let's see, Jose Smith. Yes, teacher. In your case, the same question as Ada. How do you recognize stress in your life? Um, when you feel under pressure. So, and also once you're trying to do something, but at the end, so you will get like obstacle in order to complete it or get any resolution. And you're trying and trying. Not the also, you will get stress. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Now let's see, Roxana. Hi. Tell me, Roxana. I know you don't know that much about stress, but when mm -hmm. you do, and <laughs> let's suppose that you do. I always how, do. 
how does the stress affect you? Well, to be honest, uh, I got a headache okay. and I have uh, problems with my stomach because uh, if I get some of um, dinner, for example, I have a stomach edge and something like that, but usually headache. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Liliana. Tell me, teacher. Well, Liliana, let's see. Uh, do you feel that in your case, in your personal case, uh, you are under a lot of stress on a constant basis? Mm, not really, teacher. I just feel stress sometimes, but most of the times uh, when I feel maybe under a lot of pressure in work or at home. Okay. When I can finish you... something or have a situation that I can think, uh, that I think that maybe don't have solution, but I I know that that, that a solution exists, but in, in the moment, I feel like overwhelmed. At the moment. At, At the, the moment, moment, I feel overwhelmed and okay. so I get stressed. Okay, now tell me, do you have a kind of rail warning flag that indicates too much stress? Uh, there's something that is telling you, hey, you're under yep. too much. My what red is flag it? is my colon. The first. Oh, really? Oh. Yep. Yep, when I, when I feel very stressed, my colon is like, I can describe the pain that I feel when, when my colon. I, I can understand it. Don't worry. I understand it <laughs> totally. Yeah, but that's, that's the first sign that I, I tell to myself, oh my God. Okay. Here it goes. <laughs> Stress again. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Francisco. Okay. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Francisco, when you are stressful, how do you feel physically? Um, with a headache. Okay. And uh, a neck pain. With a neck, a neck pain. Oh. Yeah. Right, teacher. Ah, that's terrible. And tell me, Francisco, do you feel like tired during the day when you are under a lot of stress? Um, uh, today, teacher. No, when you are under a lot of stress. Uh, sorry, teacher, can you repeat me, please? When, when you are under a lot of stress, do you feel tired, more, di more tired than regularly during the day? <laughs> yes. Right, teacher. Okay. What about sleeping? Can you sleep okay at night? Oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, if uh, I can take a, a little nap, it is uh, wonderful for me. Uh, um, uh, Thirty my min uh, three minutes is good. When I uh, when I uh, felt uh, very stressful, just okay. just sleeping a, a, a few minutes uh, for me is wonderful. Excellent, thank you. Thank you, Mister. Danny. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Danny. Uh, when you when you're stressed, when you are under a lot of stress, how do you feel emotionally? I mean, do you get angry easily? Do you get worried? How do you feel? Um, <laughs> all of them, <laughs> all of them feeling. <laughs> okay, you got the most symptoms. Why? Why am I going to lie? <laughs> um, well, um, I feel the first. I feel angry, <laughs> okay. a lot of angry. It's like um, 
it's like don't don't disturb please <laughs> it's like a sign of, and i put on the on my door <laughs> and well and then i feel an anxious he's right an anxious and because and there is deadline and the time is passing and <laughs> the thing has to be complete and all that things and i think anxious and angry and and, and of course very 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 worried <laughs> and i can feel all, all my worry well my pain my back is 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 hurt i no, the pain in my back is telling me you are too much stressed. <laughs> I understand you totally. Well, yeah, yeah, that's a stress for us. Thank you, Mister. The face, in the face, oh. the how do you it say? Shows. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there is uh, como barritos <laughs> Oh really? Oh man, you get yeah. pimples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are pimples. Pimples, yeah. Yeah, don't get the mistake with dimples. Dimples are little things people got here or here. B B Those are pimples. Pimples. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Guys, let me get the attendance because believe it or not, time's up. Wow. <laughs> this class went fast. <laughs> Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alfred, Alejandro Alfredo Sagastón Medina. Present teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Yes, teacher, I'm stressed. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Juan Carlos Romero López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Thank you, Ramón. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Guys, thank you very much. Please don't forget working on the platform. It's time to be finishing. Okay. Have a good night. Okay. See you tomorrow. Be on time. Take Thank care. You. Bye. Have a good, 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 good night. night. Bye. Bye. Uh, sorry, I have a problem with, um, with an exercise. Uh, no, Tell me which exercise is it? Okay. Uh, it's, the, it's in the fourth section. It's um, multiple. Okay, section four, option. which exercise? Okay, is the exercise, let me, give me a little time, it's loading. In, okay, is the exercise 4.9, the third one. And okay. there is a, and select option and any I of did the magic kingdom the cloud plan work okay if you see uh, the an um, option is 
to split or divide in two. I don't know why. Uh, that is the, the error in this. There's many, there's many options, right? Yeah, but there is one specific option that are divided in two. That is divided in two. So, uh, because I think the current is, is this one, because the employees receive discount ticket and their family spend more in the park on toys for. Um, there it finished the, the, the option that if you yeah. see, there is another option that says they are children. I think okay. not far. Okay, but let me do something. Hold on, don't go. This is exercise. Okay, we are intermediate six, right? Yes. Hold on, hold on. It's a literal number three, right? Yeah. Es intermedio 6, ejercicio 4.9, literal número 3. Lo que sucede es que acá y cuando usted lo termina, eh, los otros ya lo seleccionó. Sí, sí. Y al darle submit, ¿qué puntaje le da? Mm. 16 de 20. Okay. No, acabo de hacer un reporte. Alguien se le olvidó asignar la respuesta. Uh -huh. Sí, se la ve con todas. Ninguna, <risa> ninguna le va a aceptar. Sí, pero ya hice el reporte. Espero que mañana me lo confirmen y me recuerda por la noche para confirmarle de que todo ya está solucionado. Okay. Thank you. Is there anything you, else I can help you with? Mm, no. Um, um, today I send the information for the next module. I know it is too late. I would think it, it is not. Yo creería que no. Hágame un favor. Recuérdeme mañana por la mañana. Mándeme un mensajito para yo indagar y confirmarlo. Okay. Yeah, I think the email is in the 5, no, like 3 and a half. Okay. 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 Okay, this is fine. Goodbye. Bye.
Well, that's it for tonight. Bye-bye.